of their new gel multi chrome. Let's hope the palettes aren't broke. Hello, my gorgeous ones. Welcome to Alicia Budget Beauty. My name is Alicia here on my channel. I love affordable fashion and beauty. I do hauls, tutorials, reviews, all sorts of fun stuff. So if that sounds good to you, please subscribe and stick around. And I'm so excited because I have a box full of Mora Beauty products in here, including several of their new gel multi-chrome. Let's hope the palettes aren't broke. Well, that was exciting. <laughs> My box just fell off of the ledge here. I think everything is safe. What I was saying is I have a bunch of their new gel multi-chrome eyeliners that everyone went like gaga over when they saw them on Instagram. I included, I shared it to my stories and was like, I want them all. I didn't order them all, but I think I ordered six or seven of them. And so I also have a few like favorites in here that I was replenishing to my collection. And my second video I ever did on YouTube two and a half years ago was Mora. So that was back before a lot of people even knew who they were. That was even before the ombre blushes came out that everyone went crazy over. So Mora has been on my radar for almost three years now. It is such a good brand, it is so affordable. And I really, I kind of want to do another video just showing all of my favorites if you guys would be interested in that. But for now, I'm just going to do a little unboxing haul. I'm not going to be applying the products today. I'll save that for a different video. But if you want to see, a bunch of new Mora Beauty products. Keep on watching. Okay, so the thing that I needed to replace in my collection that I love so much and I used it up like an entire powder. If you know me and you know my collection, using up a whole powder is a big deal. So this is the Lavished Pressed Finishing Powder and this is in the shade Banana. This is so smooth blurring, brightening. It's beautiful under the eyes. It's beautiful on the face. I very, very lightly set my foundation. You can tell I love a glow. So I don't use a ton of this. I just very lightly pat it and then just kind of tap in the T-zone area. I'll even take like a little Real Techniques brush and just kind of set if I have blemishes. And it is just the best powder. Um, I loved it so, so much. I'm so happy to have another one back in my collection. I have been dying to pick up some of their cream blushes. So I think I have four of the ombre ones. Um, I'm sure if, I'm sure if you're familiar with more, you've probably seen. If not, I'll pop in a picture here so you can see what they look like. They are very pigmented, very good quality blush, but I wanted to try these cream ones. So I got three shades. I got I Want You and it is kind of a terracotta spicy shade. And then I got I Respect You, which is a very, I don't wanna have another accident because <laughs> I'm afraid it would break. Um, this one is a very like natural kind of nude color. And then we have a very pink shade, super pink. This is I Miss You. And it is a very like bubblegum hot pink. So I will go ahead and pop in some swatches of these so that you can see what they look like on the skin. picked up. I've never tried any of their primers before. I tried some of their skincare. I like their skincare. It's not like revolutionary. It's very affordable. Um, there's some skincare I like a little bit better just as far as what I've tried, but I've never tried a primer. So this is the Illuminating Glow Primer. It's formulated with micro pearls, light reflecting micro pearls. So I'm just going to put a little bit on my hand. Okay, and it is a kind of like a skin colored, you know, it's not white, so there won't be a white cast. And, oh, I do see little reflections of pearls. You're not gonna be able to see it on here. You have to look really closely. So I'm very curious to see what this looks like on the skin. It doesn't look like it would be 
like texture enhancing or anything. So that is exciting. Try that out. Then we have some lip oils. We have the Glow Getter Hydrating Lip Oil. This one is in Soft Peach. It doesn't really look peach here. It looks more like a nudie mauve. Ooh, very, very pretty. Yeah, that is not peach at all. Don't let the name fool you. Kind of heavily fragranced. Um, then we have, this one's a sparkly, more um, sheer one. This is Champagne Kiss. So you can see that sparkly. Very pretty. So I'm excited to try those out. And like I said, I'll probably do a separate video where I actually you know, do like mainly like a almost full face of more because I don't have a foundation. I do have a concealer. All right, then this is brand new, I think as well. This is the Face Sculpt Liquid Contour and I got mine in 200 Soft Warm. So let's just see. Oh yeah, that looks really pretty. I mean, maybe it looks dark to you, but once you shear it out and it does look like it shears out quite a bit it's actually a pretty thin formula when you blend it in so i'll be curious if that just blends into nothing or if that would look really good on the face but yeah i do like that shade it's it says warm soft warm but it looks pretty neutral to me all right then we have two lip liners i got the shade sandy brown oh i still need to open it and these are sharpened like you have to sharpen them so sandy brown ooh, very pigmented right here and then this one is sun stone okay just got it open so sunstone Okay, Sunstone is a little bit warmer here. And then this first one is, what was it called again? Sandy Brown. So Sandy Brown, cooler tone, and Sunstone warmer. But yeah, these are really pigmented. Uh, I think those are gonna be good. Then we have two glosses. This is the Luminizer Lip Gloss, and it is a golden shade. Put that right here. Ooh, that's gonna be really pretty on the lips. Has that golden sheen to it. I love doing ones like that over like a peach lipstick or even like a nudie brown and then you pop the gold or by itself is really pretty too. And this one is Gloss Affair in Mermaid. Definitely very mermaid-like. So it's gonna have that iridescent this actually reminds me so much of one of my Glossed from the Sephora collection. It's very similar to that. It's, I think that one's just called Lilac or something like that, but yeah, it's a very similar, just a subtle Lilac iridescent shift to it. All right, now I have two liquid eye toppers. So we have the Super Hyped Liquid Pigment in Extra Sparkle. We will put that right here. That's really pretty. It's like a pinky champagne color. And then we have, this one is a little bit more shifty in shade. This is Therapy Session. You can always hear my pub being so, I was making sure this didn't have like a weird scent. Okay. So therapy session on top is like a green, green gold shift. And then the first one is more just like a champagne pink. All right, then we have three liners. These are not the multi-chrome. These are just the regular gel liners. So we have, this shade is royal blue, then baby pink and hot pink. So I love pink in the lower lash line, especially a baby pink. I just think it is so flattering and it really brightens any look. I like it better than a white shade. Ooh, very, very creamy. Very creamy and smooth. That's good news. So that might mean that the multi-chrome ones are the same. This is the 
royal blue. And then we have the hot pink right here. Okay, there they are. Very exciting. Okay, before I show you guys the multi-chromes, I am going to, how cute is this? So this is the two palettes that came out, oh, maybe like a month ago or so. It's the Moreland, Moreland Ticket Booth Guest Services Into the Dreamland Series Bundle. So it's, there's two palettes in here. So it comes in this and then you open it like a little drawer, super adorable packaging. And you guys, this is, these are so affordable. Like the packaging is so nice, so well done to come like this. And it looks like these little like tickets. So we have the, uh, let's see, fun is in the air and then the magic dreaming palette. So this one is fun is in the air and I, I mean, I thought about buying these and I thought about it. I talked myself out of it because I'm trying to be on a very low buy. Okay, oh, so cute. I almost just ripped this. So you pop it open like this. This is the fanciest packaging for being so inexpensive. Wow. But I talked myself out of it and then I talked myself into it <laughs> buying these. But oh my goodness, they're kind of, they're so like, they're okay, they're so complex. <laughs> Oh my gosh, it just keeps going and going. How cute. They thought of everything with this. It comes with these little tickets on the top. And then here is the color story. This is so summer right here. I love these bright, like, okay. I was watching my friend Steph, Steph's Beauty Stash. If you don't follow her, sub to her, do it. She's amazing. She's actually my favorite beauty YouTuber. Um, but she got this and she had said that they're like, neon like they do not show and she's right they don't show up in the camera as bright as they are in person like this pink um yellow and orange are neon which i think is going to be so pretty to pop on the eye wow like i did not know this packaging was going to be like this just i mean it it's beautiful. So this is the next one, the Magic Dreaming Palette. And it's got like this Ferris wheel, little scene on the front. And then once again, we have the ticket. Details are amazing. Oh, this color story. This color story is gorgeous. Wow. Okay. I'm really drawn to this one the most. So you have pastels in here, but then you also have some deep shades and then you have some neutrals. This is beautiful. Okay, I'm really, really glad that I broke down and got this now. I mean, I already know the formula. I have, oh gosh, I probably have 10 or 11 more palettes already and the quality is so good. So I'm already confident that this is just gonna be a win. All right, now we have the multi-chrome eyeliners. So I got one, two, three, four. I got seven of them. The ones I passed on looked just like they would maybe be a little too light that maybe the shift wouldn't show up. So I passed on those. Here's what the cardboard packaging is like too. Look really, really nice. Okay, but because I really want to be able to show you guys shift, I am going to insert a video like I did of the cream blushes. So you can really see the color, see the shift of these. But I mean, I think the packaging is beautiful. Um, I mean, like the formula is really, really nice. These are incredibly affordable. Like these are, these are beautiful. Like Mora has done a really, really good job. So I'm gonna go ahead and insert the clip.
today. I can't wait to put them on my eyes. You guys will have to let me know, like, do you want to see all of this? I will gladly, I may even have to do two videos. Let me know what you're most interested in. Um, definitely go give Mora a shot if you haven't. Um, some really, really good products. It's one of the best affordable brands out there. So you guys let me know what you think. And as always, have fun shopping. Budget shopping. Bye.